question 25. Towards the end of the paper, so there's going to be a level 5 question. It says, Chen and Megan each have a set of numbered counters. So Chen's got four counters, Megan's got five counters. They each take one of their own counters without looking. Chen says, I am more likely than Megan to get a four. Is Chen correct? S yes or no. But you've got to explain how you know. If you just circle yes or no and guess, even if you guess correctly, you won't get any of the marks. It's all about this word, explain. If you don't have an explanation, you won't get the marks. So, let's go back and have a look. So, what's the chance that each person gets a four? Well, for Chen, there's one counter out of a possible four that is a four. There's the four, and there's four altogether, so that's one out of four. For Megan, there's the four, but she's got five counters. So she's got a 1 out of 5 chance. Now then, one out, a quarter and a fifth you might find difficult to compare. So you might want to convert them into percentages. So a quarter is basically 25% chance for Chen of getting a 4. And Megan, a fifth, is 20% chance of getting a 4. So Chen says, I am more likely than Megan to get a 4. Chen's got a 25% chance. Megan's only got a 20% chance. 25% is more than 20%. So Chen is correct because she has a greater chance. So you'd have to circle yes and you would say Chen is correct because she has a 1 out of 4, 25% chance, which is bigger than 1 out of 5, which is 20%. And that's basically all there is to it. There are lots of different ways of saying this down here, but it all boils down to the fact that 1 out of 4 is a quarter, 25%, and 1 out of 5 is a fifth, which is 20%. So 25% is bigger chance than 20%. And that's it. If you can manage to explain that, you'll get the level 5 mark on there, on that question. And that's the last question on the paper. So well done.